Hi, I'm Tomar Itan from Dell Technologies. In this demonstration video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Amazon EKS Anywhere Kubernetes clusters on Dell Parstore Vivols and VMware vSphere. Dell Technologies collaborates with a broad ecosystem of public cloud providers to help our customers support multi-cloud environments that helps place the right data and applications where it makes the most sense for them. Deploying Amazon EKS Anywhere on Dell Technologies infrastructures streamlines application development and delivery by allowing organizations to easily create and manage on-premises Kubernetes clusters. Amazon EKS Anywhere is a deployment option for Amazon EKS that enables customers to stand up Kubernetes clusters on-premises using VMware vSphere 7 and above as the platform, Control plane nodes and worker nodes are deployed to vSphere infrastructure and consume native storage made available by a vSphere administrator using the VMware CNS driver. Storage can be block, file, vvol, vSAN, or any combination of these. In this demo, I will show you how to deploy it on parsed or vvols to leverage the granularity and flexibility of these features. As you can see, I have a vSphere environment running version 7 update 3. For the purpose of this demo, I will use a three node cluster connected to my Parstore Vivo data store. By navigating to Parstore Manager and clicking on the Storage Containers tab, we can view the existing virtual volumes, connected E6 and hosts, and virtual machines that are running on this Vivo data store. In order to deploy, EKS Anywhere on vSphere, we have to meet some requirements. One of them is having a dedicated resource pool for the deployment. In addition, we have to specify our environment details in the deployment YAML file. We provide it with a name, the network, resource pool, and data store that will be used to deploy the cluster, and the resources for each virtual machine. The deployment process is fully automated and done using the EKS tool. This process takes approximately 10 minutes to complete. vSphere administrators will enjoy the ease of deployment and integration with vSphere infrastructure that they already have on-premises. To add to that, Amazon EKS Anywhere is open source. It can be downloaded and fully deployed without software or license purchase. You don't even need an AWS account. There are also a few internet locations that the Amazon EKS administrative VM will need to reach so that the manifests, OVAs, and Amazon EKS distro can be downloaded. As you can see, the process completed successfully and our EKS cluster is ready. By navigating to Parstor Manager, we can see the performance during the deployment. By navigating to the Vivol data store, we can see the virtual machines that have been deployed as well as all their virtual volumes. Now, let's connect to my EKS cluster and deploy an application. As I've mentioned before, the VMware CSI driver, as known as CNS, is automatically installed during the deployment. So in order to deploy persistent volumes on the Parstore Vivol data store, all we need to do is specify the VMware SPBM policy in the storage class and create it using the kubectl command. For the purpose of this demo, I'm deploying a cloud native database called YugabyteDB. I'm setting the storage class of its persistent volume claims to my Parstore Vivol and using the kubectl command to create the stateful set. As you can see in the background, the volumes are being created on PowerStore using the CNS driver and mounted to the E6A hosts. This granularity and flexibility of VVOLs allows us to get performance metrics for each of the persistent volumes of our application. We can see live and history statistics about latency, IOPS, bandwidth, and IO size of each virtual volume. In addition, if we go to the Containers Volume tab in vSphere, we can get very useful information about our persistent volumes, such as the labels, type, path, compliance, health, and more. 
By leveraging Amazon EKS anywhere on PowerStore, organizations get on-premises Kubernetes operational tooling that is consistent with Amazon EKS. Organizations are able to leverage the Amazon EKS console to view all their Kubernetes clusters, including Amazon EKS Anywhere clusters, through the Amazon EKS connector. This brings together both the data center and cloud, simplifying the management of both. I really hope you find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.